making a move was probably the one thing that I was most afraid of and did it anyway. I've uh, made two moves in my life that were pretty crucial. I was born in Puerto Rico, but I was raised in New York around all of my family and friends, went to elementary school, high school in New York, and really developed my entire network was around me. And when I found out that I really couldn't afford college upstate New York anymore, I decided to move to Puerto Rico with my mom. My mom and dad were going back and forth from Puerto Rico to New York, but spending most of their time there. And I said, I want to finish college and can't do it in New York, too expensive. I was working my way through college. And I said, well, I need to live at home and finish college. And so I picked up and left my friends, left my family, my sisters, my cousins, my uncles and aunts, and went to Puerto Rico. I was with my parents, but I had left my entire network of people that I had grown up with. And so that was frightening. I had to find a job and enroll in a new school. And it was just, it was frightening. It was, it was a scary time. But I sort of put all of that aside and said, it wasn't easy. I said, it's going to be a couple of years. I really have to stick to this. And I did. And it was fun. <laughs> I actually, it was great living in the Caribbean. I went back to my roots. I um, found that I was at an advantage in some ways because all the college books were in English and the primary language in Puerto Rico is Spanish. So um, that was very easy for me and I ended up making friends easily because I was helping them to understand the books and, and through a friend at school I got a job as a uh, hemodialysis technician working with kidney patients. So that opened a whole nother opportunity for me and I developed a whole nother network of friends and expanded my opportunities and my expanded my experience overall. And when I finished, I moved back to New York. The other uh, time that was probably very frightening was leaving New York and moving to Texas. I had just gotten married and it was just my husband and I, no children. He comes from a large family as well, four sisters and a brother, so a total of six for them and both large families. Everything we knew and grew up with was there. And we took our journey to Texas because of uh, an offer that I had to work at MD Anderson Cancer Center. And so that was a frightening time. And for the first six months here in Houston, I would look around and say, what am I doing here? And now, 21 years later, <laughs> I say, wow, I'm so glad I came here. <laughs>